hello everybody welcome to another new video in this video we will study about the design steps of sada fall so what are the different uh, design steps that we should follow during the uh, design of sada fall okay so uh, let's see one by one and if you are new to the channel please do subscribe the channel and uh, like the video and press the bell icon so you will get a regular update okay and i have uploaded different a video related to uh, our irrigation engineering okay and i will keep uh, the in description box you can simply visit from there okay and i have already discussed about the basic uh, knowledge about the different uh, parameter uh, for the designing of sada fall in previous video okay so you have to first see the previous video after that uh, you can easily understand the design steps uh, of sada fall so uh, in first step we have to design uh, we have to uh, determine the length of crest and the length of a uh, crest is simply taken downstream bed width of a canal okay and in step number 2 okay uh, we have to uh, determine the shape of crest okay and the, the shape of crest uh, we can simply uh, we have the criteria of a air whenever the discharge is less than uh, 14 meter cube per second then we have to provide a uh, rectangular crest and whenever the discharge is uh, greater or equal to 14 then we have to provide a uh, trapezoidal crest okay so these are the two criteria for the uh, shape of crest okay and whenever we provide rectangular crest uh, we have a uh, top width of crest that is bt equal to 0.55 newton d and for the trapezoidal uh, bt equal to 0.55 root under d plus h and base width equal to h plus d by 2 for the rectangular and the discharge equal to 1.84 lh to the power 3 by 2 h by bt to the power 1 by 6 and for the trapezoidal crest the discharge is uh, ten, uh, changes only in this constant otherwise uh, all uh, this value is uh, taken same and the uh, value of this constant 1.84 we have to use 1.89 okay for the trapezoidal crest so we use uh, this formula and you can simply determine these all parameters and then in step number uh, third we have to uh, calculate the crest level okay simply the crest level that is the value of h equal to what and uh, using this formula q equal to 1.84 this formula and this formula now we have already uh, value of l bt and uh, bt these two value and the discharge is also known and simply Uh, with the help of this for, uh, formula we can calculate the value of h that is crest level okay and whenever the value of uh, whenever the uh, crest is rectangular crest we have to uh, take the value of bt is less than 1 okay and you can take the value like uh, 0.8 or 0.9 and whenever on the crest uh, uh, type is trapezoidal crest then we have to take the value of bt this b2 uh, bt value equal to 1 okay and this bt is uh, called top width of crest and in uh, next step st step number 4 this is the design of cotton wall and you can see uh, the up stream and down stream of cotton wall and uh, this value is taken for the up stream depth uh, equal to uh, y by 3 and for down stream depth uh, y um, distance from uh, distance uh, to down stream by 2 and for the up stream we have to Uh, divide this up stream distance by 3 okay and the, uh, this value is taken also from the table uh, as we uh, discuss in numerical uh, in uh, previous video also and we will further uh, describe in uh, during the numerical okay and in uh, next step this is the uh, five fifth step and uh, this is for the cistern we have to calculate the length of cistern or you can say uh, depth of cistern uh, as well okay uh, for this we use the length of system that is the value of lc equal to 5 root under hl into l so i, I already discuss uh, the length of system is taken is this lc okay from here to here this is the uh, length of system okay and you can say this is uh, lc and uh, this is called a uh, system why we provide this system we provide this system uh, for the prevention of erosion of soil because whenever the uh, water falls from here it uh, hit the ground and there may be erosion of soil that's why we provide uh, some level of water that is called uh, in s level okay 
uh, from uh, ground to uh, its level we provide uh, water over here okay um, why we provide water for the prevention of erosion of soil okay and then simply we can calculate uh, the length of system that is the value of lc equal to 5 root 100 hl into a h and the value of h equal to head over crest up to uh, tel as i uh, discussed over here uh, the value of head velocity head that is h equal to uh, from the up steam of full supply level to the up steam of total energy level okay this is the value of head over the crest okay up to uh, tel okay over the crest over the crest is this okay sorry the value of a h is calculated uh, from the top of the crest from the here to uh, up steam of total energy level this is the value of h from here to here capital h okay and hl hl can be simply calculated uh, hl is the head difference head difference can be calculated with the up steam full supply level minus uh, down steam uh, full supply level you can see here uh, this is the hello uh, head difference and this is denoted by hl this is distance from air to air and this is up steam full supply level and it is this is uh, down steam full supply level okay for this we have to uh, um, divide up steam full supply le level subtract minus down steam full supply level then we can uh, easily get the value of hl okay and we can calculate uh, this length of system and depth of system and in next step this is six uh, step and uh, in this step we have to calculate the impervious floor that is thickness of floor okay uh, in this uh, impervious floor we have to determine the length uh, of the impervious floor okay and this can be determined using the uh, blaze or uh, khosla theory and the minimum length of down steam floor equal to two times of water depth plus 1.2 into head difference or simply you can say head difference uh, drop okay and uh, in the uh, you can see in uh, this uh, like that 2 into water depth is denoted by d plus 1.2 and the head difference that is value of hl okay so simply uh, using using this formula okay how uh, we can calculate minimum length of downstream floor okay and in next next step in step number uh, seven uh, we have to uh, calculate uplift and uh, thickness so uh, for the thickness we use simply t equal to h by g minus 1 and the value of g is uh, taken 2400 okay or is simply you can say uh, 2.4 as we know uh, for the plain type of concrete we use uh, the value of g equal to 2.4 so we just uh, uh, take the value of g equal to 2.4 for the plain concrete okay and uh, h we will we'll, uh, see in numerical how we calculate the value of h and after that we have to uh, determine the total length of downstream pitching in next step in step number eight the total length of downstream pitching can can be calculated uh, with the help of table okay this value uh, can be calculated with the help of table and uh, uh, generally we uh, prefer uh, 9 plus 2 hl okay uh, and hl is already uh, we discussed about hl that is hl is the head difference okay uh, this is the hl okay and we have already calculated this value so uh, brick uh, pitching equal to you can also take 18 plus hl this depends upon the uh, from the uh, table and generally we prefer 9 plus 2 hl and the slope is taken 1 is to uh, 10 okay and uh, this slope uh, is like this this slope is taken 1 is to uh, 10 okay so this is uh, all about the design steps of the Sada fall. During these all steps, uh, we can easily uh, de design the uh, Sada fall. Okay, now let's see uh, numerical uh, related to uh, design of Sada fall, and we will follow these all steps. Okay, so basically, we have uh, total eight steps for the de uh, design of Sada fall. So let's see uh, these all steps and uh, let's do one numerical so uh, we have uh, given numerical here okay and we will solve this numerical using this uh, steps of uh, saldo okay so